us to ever be punished for lying on God. One thing God for sure hates is a lying tongue. So how do you think it makes him feel when we make it look like he has one? How do we do this? Easy. It's when we credit God for doing things he did not do. It's when we say that he said things that he really didn't say. Or when we tell other people that God told us to tell them something. And God is like, I never told you to tell them anything. Many times we like to say things like, won't he do it? But we have to be sure that God really did do it. Otherwise, we might unknowingly credit God for stuff that he had nothing to do with. This misrepresentation, intentional or unintentional, is lying on God. And that's dangerous. What you might not realize is just how common it is, how easy it is to do this without thinking. We want to be positive or encouraging or worse, we just want to look more spiritual or prophetic, randomly telling people that their blessing or their breakthrough is coming. So now they're expecting the blessing from God because we said it's on the way. But what if God is about to break them, not bless them, test them, not bless them, punish them for sins that we don't know they're struggling with, not bless them. And when the pain or punishment comes instead of the pleasure that we promised, it's God that looks like the liar. And he's never happy about that. And this is nothing new. People have been doing this since the beginning of time. In Jeremiah 14, 14, God's like, these prophets are out here lying in my name. I have not sent them. I have not appointed them to speak. They are telling you false visions. They lying. These are delusions of their own minds. So clearly he hates when we lie on him and falsely influence other people. And we do it in God's name, in Jesus name. But what you might not realize is people lost their lives for doing stuff like this. In Jeremiah 28, there was a man named Hananiah and he was lying on God. So God told him flat out, I didn't send you. You have people trusting in your lies. So I'm about to remove you from the face of the earth. This very year, you're going to die. That's deep. It should make us think twice before posting videos and memes that randomly toss out blessings. We don't know God's schedule when it comes to the lives of other people. We can't just loosely tell whoever is willing to listen that they're about to catch a breakthrough or get that new job or whatever feel good message we've prepared because it could be a lie. A lie that was preceded by saying, God told me to tell you this today. God put this on my heart today. Here's what God is saying to you today. That's a dangerous thing to say to somebody if you're not 100% certain that is true. James 4, 13 through 17 already warns us about making plans for ourselves when we don't know what tomorrow brings in our own lives. So how does it make sense to make random declarations about the tomorrows of other people? It doesn't. Don't do it. Now, I'm a realist. I get it. As Christ followers, as human beings, there's a desire to encourage people. So if you're one of those people that's just genuinely trying to be uplifting, you're trying to show how good God is, or maybe you really do feel like God is leading you to do or say something, there's a better way to do it, a safer way to do it. First of all, make sure you pray. Ask God if you should even be saying anything at all. And if after that, you still feel that God is leading you, then at least say, you know what? I'm not sure but I believe that God is leading me to tell you this or that. And then after you say it, tell them to take what you told them and run it by God for authenticity before you act on it and let them know you're going to do the same thing. Do everything you can to make sure you're not misrepresenting God. Pray for discernment. Pray for the wisdom to know the difference between what makes sense to you and what's actually coming from him. Because God could be leading us at times to say certain things to certain people, but by praying on it and being extra careful with our words, this shows humility holy fear, respect, and reverence for a holy God who doesn't play when it comes to his reputation and his name. The next time we feel the urge to say God did this or that, God said this or that, God told me this or that, or we get the urge to make declarations or promises on somebody's life that God's going to have to fulfill, we better make sure we're right because being wrong could be costly. This is what God told people concerning the false prophets. God told the people, if any prophets priests or if anyone else says i have a prophecy from the lord i will punish that person along with his entire family you should keep asking each other what is the lord's answer or what is the lord saying but stop using this phrase prophecy from the lord for people are using it to give authority to their own ideas turning upside down the words of our god the living god the lord of heaven's armies look i don't want any of us to ever be punished for lying on god so i'm praying that neither you or i ever misrepresent God to anyone in anything in any way.